everyone, my name is Dot Case. You're welcome to the sewing part of our full circle dress with flounce, and it will be as easy just as we cut it up. So, right now, let's go back to the work table to get started. Now, we need to concentrate on the upper part. This is the lower part. I'll set it aside, then set the sleeve aside. Then we can focus on the main fabric. So now, looking at it, this is what we have. The first step we need to do is to join the panels together. First thing I'll do now is this, to sew this panel up. We have to join the panel up. So what I'll do is to start from this lower part and then we sew it all up. So I'm going to do that for this very one. Then going to the back, I'm going to do the same thing for the lining. Then for these parts, I've transferred all the darts. So I'm going to take this and then sew it up this way so that's what i will do for this and also the lining so that's the first step we'll do join up the panels now can you see so you just have to start from the edge here Remember we left half an inseam allowance, we'll be sewing in half an inseam allowance. Be sewing in the second part just the same way we sewn in the first one. So I haven't sewn the both parts now. I'll show you what it looks like. So can you see how that looks now? So we are done with that. So the next thing now is to take the dart for the back. Now it's time to take the dart for the back. going to sew it down to that tip so that's that so now can you see how the dart looks so the dart has been taken so we do the same thing to the other back panel it has been joined now can you see all the panels so this is the front you can see how beautiful that looks so the next thing now, and also for the back, the dart has been taken. Let's finish with the front. So what I will do now is to make sure right sides are facing each other. Then we have to turn in the neckline. So can you see this? 
so what i'll just do now is to sew in like quarter of an inch to half an inch which is fine so i'm going to sew it up after sewing it up then i'm just going to open it up and press all the seam allowance towards the lining to top stitch so now for this that's for the front then for the back now looking at it i've taken in the that you can see this is for the lining so you make sure right side are facing each other too so this is the back this is so right side are facing each other then i'm just going to sew in the neckline too quarter inch or half an inch then you stop at the one inch seam allowance because we are going to use that to finish the zipper so i'm just going to take the seam allowance and stop at this half inch i'm going to do the same thing to this other one too so i'm just going to do what that then come back to for the sides now i've sewn the neckline you can see what i have now so after sewing it i make sure how the seam allowance tend toward the lining then just so like quarter of an inch so it makes it stay so well then for the back panel the same thing so the next thing i'm going to do now is to make sure right side are facing each other again can you see that then i'm going to open up this part then the back so make sure the seam allowance matches uh, the same line matches each other then i'm going to take in half an inch remember we left half an inch at the upper part so i'm going to do that for this and this other side can you see that right side facing each other after doing that then i'm now going to take this side panel remember we left one inch then i'm just going to sew it up one inch by this side the main fabric alone coming to this side to the main fabric on the wrong side one inch then the lining to the lining one inch one inch so let me do that right now it's time to work on the sleeve before we go back to the main dress so what i will do now is to make sure the right side are facing each other so this is the right side now facing each other then i'll make sure everything matches at the edge so can you see that then i'll have to take in half an inch first half an inch all through so that will be what we'll do now Right now we've sewn it up so we have to pull up the lining can you see that then we have to give it a good press can you see so some of the main fabric now will be showing on the other side can you see so I'm now going to use my pressing nylon to give it a good press before we continue for the sleeve now I've given it a good press you can see I have some of the fabric inside one inch so what i'm now going to do is to notch this part so i now notch it that is the new hem so what i'm going to do now is to open it up turn it to the wrong side can you see that then i'm now going to do what remember so back to the upper bodies i showed you the last time after joining the shoulder this is what it looks like see on the wrong side so this is what it looks like then after then i sew in one inch on the side of the lining of the main fabric can you see that one inch then on the lining you can see that so opening it up this is what i will have on the wrong side and this is what it looks like on the right side can you see that so i haven't seen all that so now the armhole though i left one inch on the sleeve but take your time to measure whatever you have on the arm hole so whatever you have now you divided you divide it by two then you come back to the sleeve so whatever you have there divided by two then you just have to measure it out here and whatever you have left will be your seam allowance but i left one inch seam allowance here so i already know that 
but to be on the saver side that was why i asked you to do that so now i'm not going to take my one inch straight down because this is the new hem so i'm going to take one inch straight down till this point before i now go back one inch outward again can you see that so after that we now bring it inside out right now we want to sew up the sleeve so can you see that remember this is the new hem so we are going to start sewing our seam allowance mine is one inch so i'm going to sew it straight down to this point so the, it's going to form a deep v then straight down out here so we are going to start now always check your measurement So we are going to stop at that point and make a V turn. Right now, before I turn it inside, this is the new hem. I'll have to notch this point. So then, I now have to Have. or better still open up the seam with your pressing iron and then i'll give it a good press and i'll do that to the other sleeve too i've given it a good press now this is what my sleeve look like so it is time to attach it to the main sleeve there are two options if you want a perfect inseam so first you have to attach both the lining and the main fabric to the fabric of the armhole area alone then finish the lining from the inside but if you don't want to go through stress just attach it everything together as you can see you just take it attach it and then you sew it all up so by half an inch but what i want to do at this stage now is to attach the body lining and the main fabric of the sleeve to only the main fabric of the upper bodies so now i have to confirm like this is the front arm hole so that means this sleeve is going to match this very well so what i'm going to do now is this this is the starting point the midpoint so i'm going to take it match it up with the main fabric alone leave the lining out of the way so make sure it matches the shoulder seam allowance then i'm going to pin it so now I'm just going to sew like quarter of an inch all through, all through. If you've taken your measurement right, this lower part has to match this side. If you take the measurement very well. So looking at mine, can you see that? Can you see? Can you see it matches? So I'm just going to sew it all round that way. So that will be the next step to do. It's time to start sewing it up now. Remember I told you both the lining and the main fabric will be added to just the main fabric of the bodies and not the lining. So now she's going to start sewing it from the inside. Can you see the way she opened it up? So it will be easier from the inside. So this is the ham hole. Can you see where I pinned up? Can you see that? So, so it's going to be very easy. So we are just going to take quarter of an inch from the edge here right to the middle. So make sure the end of the armhole here, can you see, of the sleeve matches with the side. If you take your measurement right, everything is just going to work out. So she's going to start sewing it up now. So that's the sleeve, both the main fabric and the lining to the main fabric of the bodies. You just have to take your time.
after sewing it up this is what we have now so this is the lining of the main bodies so let me just show you this on the right side the sleeve now on the right side so this is what it looks like on the right side can you see that hope you can see that so and on the wrong side it is still open so let me take you to the work table to explain better this is what it looks like now the sleeve meanwhile on the wrong side this lining is still open can you see that so when i remove this this is what the sleeve looks like so both the lining and the main fabric of the sleeve has been attached so what we want to have now is this we want this lining this is the armor layer of the lining to be covered this way can you see that covering the lining we want it to be something like this i just want to take my time to explain to be something like this so as to cover all the seam allowers being inside so what you are now going to do just take this as you can see then pull this outside can you see that so just make sure the hem of the shoulder of both the sleeve the one you've had at the sleeve and the very lining is matching can you see that so now i'll just get a pin to pin that down so i haven't pinned that down so now you have the wrong side towards you so then just sew it down just from that side can you see that so you have to sew on this same seam so that you won't have it uneven can you see so i'm just going to sew it all down so take your time to sew it can you see the lining still matches up with the bulk of the lining and the sleeve then i'm just going to keep sewing it through this point it's time to start sewing it up this point you have to take your time to start sewing it all down but if you don't want to go through all this stress which is not any stress at all just attach everything up and then you get going she's matching up the side seam of the sleeve and the main bodies Right now, this is the hem of the shoulder where we started. Can you see that? So we have to end it there. So that is it. Can you see the hem of the shoulder where we started? So she's going to sew it all down to stop there. So I'll just trim off the excess thread. That's very very important. So now I can bring it all out. Okay, can you see on the right side and on the wrong side? This is what we have. So can you see all the seams are inside? So by the time we give it a good press, you are good to go. Can you see that? So which is nice. So everything I've done now, I'm going to do it to the other sleeve. Then we can go to the lower part. Fix both sleeve and it came out nice. You can see it on the wrong side. So nice. 
and you see that everything matches so well so that's what so both on the wrong side and the right side is both neat so what i will do right now is to just give it a good press set it aside then we can just couple it to the lower part it's time for us to attach the flounce so luckily now i have a brighter satin to make my flounce initially i made use of taffeta but i don't really like that i prefer brighter satin because as at that time i don't have this but now i've gotten it so i've cut out another flounce the same way i taught you just that i use one and a half yard to cut this out so if you want it more or less it totally depends on you so what i will do now is to show you step by step on how to sew it for this one i don't need to add any interfacing to make it stick it's just okay this way then i'll be adding the horse hair braid to it it's going to make it beautiful because by the time we gather it the fold will just make a nice course so that is why we want to attach this so right now we'll go to the sewing machine to sew this up before attaching it to our main bodies right now it is time to sew up the flounce together just make sure the right side are facing each other can you see that so then you just place your us air braid starting from the beginning then we are just going to sew everything together half an inch as we left it so it's time to sew it up Everything has been sewn up now, so this is what it looks like. So the next thing now is to top stitch towards the other side so as to make it more stable and it's going to make it all curvy. So all you have to do now is to open it up this way. Can you see that? Then all this will be towards this side. Can you see that again? This is the same allowance, then it's going to be towards this side, and we are going to sew very close to the four seam line, just one eighth of an inch. Can you see that? Now we are going to start sewing that, but I want to teach you a trick in which you will have a neater finishing like what I have here. Looking at the top stitching here, you can see it's so nice. Can you see that? so you are going to sew it the other way around if you want this method so this method you have that needs top stitching so that method is what we are going to use now so can you see the way it is remember i told you you are going to put push all the seam allowance towards that side exactly but here now you will instead of sewing on this side you'll be sewing on the right side so that will make it easier for you you can try that and you sure love it can you see that Hmm. So, with that, all the seam allowance is still pushed inside on the other side. So, can you see that? Then you start sewing on it, one eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. adjusting with your fingers so you could just try both and see whichever one comes out better for you so just look at it can you see that was so neat can you see that and on the other side 
and you see so that is what we want to achieve so we are just going to sew it all down now i've high on the flounce so well so looking at it you can see that so i'm just going to trim off this excess so what we are just going to do now is that we are going to close one end so we are going to close one end and leave the other side open the reason why we we'll close one hand is because we have to tack it down to the upper part so once it's finished why the other one will just be sewn along with the uh, waist area so now what we are going to do now is to open it up now i just like to give it a good press before finishing it so opening it up this way then i'm going to close one side and after doing that I will use the longest stitch on the sewing machine because we are going to gather it up. So looking at it now, so you, or you can pleat it, it depends on you. So you can see the work of the horse air braid. So it helps to have that beautiful fold. So that was why we added it. So what I'm going to do now is after closing one side, then I will run a long stitch, the longest stitch on your sewing machine, just half an inch all true this will help us to gather it to the size of what we want to sew on the main body so let's go do that now the flounce has been gathered let me just pick one and tuck on it so this is what i have so you can just gather it you can have it fuller or less fuller than this that totally depends on you so then don't forget to trim off this frayed fabric all this is normal because gathering it is not that easy but it's really worth all the stress because it will come out beautiful yeah i must tell you it's not a joke gathering it up so now this is what i have and you can see the effect of the us air braid so it makes it beautiful so that is the essence of that so now i've placed my main bodies on the mannequin and i'm going to show you some essential thing you need to do before you sew it down this is the main bodies now you can see what i have so the first thing you need to decide where how you want it to go it could be something like this straight down it could be from here all the way to this side it totally depends on what you want so now if you want like i said if you want just one layer it still comes out nice so all you have to do now is this so this is what we are going to be having you can see how beautiful that look so with just one layer you are good to go you can see that so you can either have it straight this way or something like this it totally depends on your preference so since i am using two layers I can just take to my sewing machine now to sew it all down. Can you see how full that is and so beautiful? So before I continue, I'm just going to do what? I'm just going to take to the sewing machine to just sew this together, like quarter of an inch. Then I have some something to embellish it after sewing it up. There are two ways you could sew this. Let me explain that quickly. You could either sew it this way and then use this embellishment to just cover it up. And you see just cover up the seam allowance that's one now then you must have trim off all these excesses or you could just sew it this way you're just going to sew it all down can you see and after sewing it then you could just flip it this way and just tack it down a little bit which you need to and thread so those are the two options and it still come out nice you can see anyhow you want your flowers to be can you see this so it depends on how you just want to embellish your flower. So let me just sew the two together and then we can continue with our sewing. So I've sewn the two together and you can see how beautiful it looks. And all the frayed part has been trimmed off. You can see how neat it is. So the next thing now is to start from where I want it to stop. That will be from my shoulder seam. Oh my God, see how beautiful this looks can you see that so i'm just going to keep tacking it down so then how you want it to be if you want it in the but you don't want it exactly in the middle just slightly over the bust can you see that just slightly over it so 
so we haven't done that then if you want it straight so that is how it depends on you but i think i would prefer it to be straight this way can you see that so i'll take to the sewing machine now to sew it all down so you can put it on to decide where you want it to be so that totally depends on your preference so i'll take to my sewing machine now to just sew this down to the bodies it's time to get to work now so what i did was to just put it on and then mark from this point so this is where i want it to start from with my tailor's chalk can you see that all the way here can you see that so it's going to go like that so assuming i want it on the right side i also mark that but i want it on the left side which is here which i've already marked so that means i'll start sewing the flounce on this part so let's get to work at this stage now you need to listen attentively because i want to make an inseam finishing on the inside especially with a zipper so what i'm going to do now is this because i'll have to open up that point what i'll do now is this remember this is the lining so i'll have to sew from the shoulder because it will not be easy for me to open this sleeve area it will be very difficult but from somewhere around here it will be able to will be able to separate the main fabric from the lining so what i will do now is to place the flounce on starting from here to somewhere around here sewing both the main fabric and the lining together with it sewing it on it so when i get here i'm going to stop then separate the lining and the main fabric and then start sewing only on the main fabric so let's get started now so can you see that now we are sewing together on both lining and main fabric have a chalk line as a guideline so we are just going to follow that so we are just going to sew in about five to six inches before we continue on the main fabric going to stop somewhere around here which is about six to seven inches before we now open it up so now this is what we have on the wrong side you can see that so on the right side the reason why I'm doing all this is because I want this unfinished parts to be sewn along with the main skirt that's the circle skirt so right now the next thing now is to open up to separate the main fabric from the lining so we are going to continue now sewing on the main fabric it now you can see what we have and it's looking so beautiful you can see that so this very one now will be sewn along with the skirt to have something like this so that was why we went through all those stress so now that is just it on the upper bodies the next thing now is to go over to the circle skirt we are going to start with the circle skirt now so now these are the two back panels aside then this is the main front panel then these are the linings so i want to explain how you are going to join that now so i'm just going to open this up 
so this is the front panel so this is the wrong side so now the right side will be facing me at this stage if you want to add pockets to it you can have that but if you don't want a pocket that's no problem so this is the right side now so i'm now going to be placing the back right side facing right side so that is it so this is for the side so this side is going to be joining this side so if you want a pocket the pocket will be fixed here so this is the zipper area then i'll take the other side of the back so this is the right side also facing right side because we want to sew on the wrong side so this is it now so what we are going to do now is this the first thing and the only thing for now we are going to join this side remember we left one inch on this side and on this side so we are going to sew in one inch from this edge to the hem then coming to this point to one inch from this end from this beginning to the end and then we'll have one skirt with the zipper allowance being opened after doing that we can now hem the lower part remember we left one inch then we are going to hem it top you can add horse hair braid to the heat it will look nice if you want that so the same way now i've explained this that's the same way you are going to sew of the um, the lining too so that will be the next step before we now join it to the upper bodies now i have done everything i've sewn up the lower part so this is the upper part now let me set this aside then we'll talk about the lower part so this is what i have now can you see that so it has been joined so this is one of the side and i've inserted my pocket that is totally optional because you have to do that before we move on so this is the other side where the pocket is and i've hemmed the lower parts as, as you can see that and then my measurements are all right i have 38 inches as the upper parts including the seam allowance so my waist circumference is 36 plus one inch seam allowance on both sides so that makes it 38 so now i did the same thing to the lining so this is the lining can you see that i use the contrasting thread but you make sure you use the matching thread so this is one side this is the other side and the lower part has been hemmed so the next thing for us now is to attach it to the upper part so this is the upper part now can you see that so the end of the flounce i just match it in by half and into the main fabric so what i will do now is to open this up so the main fabric will be attached to the main fabric so you just make sure right side are facing each other so this is the right side of my skirt so this is it now then you get your pin you have to work with your pin let me get my pin so now the side has to match the sides so if you follow all the measurements it should be okay so can you see that it matches from the side to the zipper can you see that then i'll do the same thing here so looking at it can you see that was right too into the end can you see that too so everything is intact both the upper measurements and the lower measurements so can you see that so the same way i attach this we have to attach this lining right side facing right side and i'm going to match it up too can you see that also matches Just take your time when you are making your outfit. So 
benefits from here. So then the side. Can you see that? That's it perfect. And then lastly this other side. So can you see that now? So we've attached the main one and then the lining. So I'll take to the sewing machine now and then sew half an inch all down and also on the main fabric half an inch all down. So after doing that, then we can come to fix the zipper. Now we are through with the house feet. I've joined it so you can see the end of the flounce here. It's looking all beautiful. And then on the, on the wrong side, can you see that? all oh, beautiful and nice can you see that oh my god so beautiful so the next thing now is to attach a zipper and i'll be using a black color so it rhymes with the lining and all that so what i will do now is this let me bring the hand the end of one side this is the end of the other side so now we want to have something like this so remember we left this part open so you just make sure because we want to have this upper part outside just make sure it's facing the right side the right side of the zip is facing the right side of the zipper can you see that and then we are going to sew on one inch at the end of the opening remember we left one inch so it's going to be facing this side and then we sew all down. And since it's an open end zipper, because after sewing it, we want to have something like this. Can you see? This is the zipper teeth. So I'm just going to open this up. So it's open. So I'm just going to take the side. Now, I'll make sure it faces the side and then just sew in one inch only on the main fabric can you see the lining is off it so just the main lining you sew very close to the zipper and then you stop so now talking about the length of the zip i will make it about let's see So 17 is fine from the beginning 17 is just fine so about six uh, sorry seven inches to eight inches from the waist is fine so here from the edge down 17 is just fine so by the time i want to sew my zipper i'm just going to sew it and stop at 17 inches so the same thing i did to this part will be do done to this other main fabric too so now let's go to the sewing machine it's time to fix the zipper now so looking at it so that this teeth won't be of any difficulty or better still you can split it the way i did initially so we are just going to sew in now one inch here sorry so one inch all down hope you can see that one inch all down very close to the zipper
so that's the point where the 17 inches is and we are going to stop there to fix the other side right now it is time to sew the other side so this was the first one we sewed up the other time so what we did now is we now had to turn so the lower part is here initially we had the upper part here so now this is the lower uh, lower part of the dress the, this is the hem so now we now have to match it up here and then this side remember i said the right side has to be facing the right side so we now want to sew up the other one and we want to sew it starting from the lower part can you see that so right now it's going to be facing this way can you see then we have to sew close to the zipper one inch away the seam allowance to starting from the 17 inches point so you need to mark it out so that it will be easier for you then we have to sew it all down close to the zipper with your fingers you can feel it so we are going to start sewing that now now another essential thing now from this point now this is the starting point you have to check it up to the waist this is the waist area it has to match with the other one so here we have it matching so if yours is not matching that means there's a problem which you need to adjust before fixing your zipper so we are going to start fixing it So we are at the end now the zipper has been fixed now on the main fabric so this part is still open can you see that so what we are going to do now is this we will now have to open this hole just take a careful look at this part so I'm just going to open it up. so I've separated it into two now can you see so now how do we finish this can you see the lining? This is the main fabric. Just turn it now, right side facing each other. Right side facing each other. Then this is the zipper, the remaining zipper. Make sure the, the zipper teeth is inside the whatever you call it. So now I'm just going to make sure this now comes outside. So you just match up the lining now with the main fabric. So right side is facing right side. So we are sewing on the wrong side. So now very close to the, with your fingers you can feel it. On this same seam you have straight down, you are just going to sew on it together with the lining. It's as easy as that. Just sew it all down. After doing that, you come to this other part too. It's open now, this is the right side. Just flip the lining over, then this remaining zipper will be out now, cover it up, can you see that, then you are going to sew on this seam, so the teeth is inward, so we are going to sew it all down, so that's the next thing to do. So can you see that now? So now we have come to the end of that. So we are going to do the other side now. Then we can just round it up. 
to happen, we need that. This is what it looks like. So first, I'm going to cut out this excess. Then on the other side. Then I'm just going to bring everything all out. So this is it here. Can you see that? So beautiful. So this is what it looks like. So gently I'll have to use my nails to bring this all out well. For your scissors, but you have to be careful. So now this is what I have. You can see that was neat. And the other one. So this is what I have now. So it can be closed off now. And then turn it to the right side. has lots of volume because it's a full circle dress but trust me it's going to look beautiful so then i'm just going to fix in the zipper and close it up right now you can see the zipper so neat so once i press it i'll have something so beautiful so on the wrong side you can see how the zipper looks like you can see how the inside so beautiful so the next thing we are going to do now is this to close it up then we just embed the flounce and we are good to go so now this is the right side i'm just going to take this right side facing each other still because we need to close this up then at the end here where we stop our zipper just make sure this matches there and then you just take the remaining one inch from that point straight down you can see all our half feet matches at the same point if you take all your measurements right so one inch straight down then this is the lining now right side facing each other too so the same thing because you are sewing on the wrong side then from that point where we stop straight down so that's what we'll do next then we finish it up now i've sewn that you can see that the point where the zipper ends so now let's see how that looks. right now you can see that on the right side you can see the flowers are so beautiful then on the other side as the back you can see how full the skirt is so this is the zipper so you can see that till the hand all nice so the next thing now before i even give it a good press we have to embellish this flounce area to cover our the seam so i'm going to place it on the mannequin so that we can do that now i forgot to show you the wrong side of the outfit which is what i want to do now you see that so can you see all nice beautiful and to the front you can see that the princess seam everything looks so sweet and nice so let me place it on the mannequin now now you can see what we have left so i'll be using i've eaten my glue gun since like 15 minutes ago so this now is going to be placed from the edge to cover up all the sides so you can see that so that's how we are going to do that so now with my glue gun i'm just going to start from the edge here so just take your time so it glues it So you just use it to cover up the, the seam allowances. Take your time to do that. So that is it. 
you can see what I'm doing. See that. Just press it down a little bit. Or if you have your fabric glue, you can make use of that too. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Let me see. I'm just going to press it down. So looking at these ones I've made, so nice. Then I'll continue. This is what the outfit looks like now. You can see that was so beautiful. Can you see that? All true. So you can see the full circle dress with flounce is such a beautiful dress and easy to make. Just make sure you make yours. So what I'll do now, because I've not pressed it at all, I'm going to give it a good press, then put it on for you hard, for you to see how it looks on me, but it looks beautiful already. So let me just show you.